Andy here. Welcome to Get Real with Andy. I forget which chapter this is. Listen, I have something um, really important to share with you today. I think this is a principle that can make a big difference uh, in your life. And this is it. Overthinking is a symptom of underfeeling. I'll say it again. Overthinking is a symptom of underfeeling. That means when we have when we have uncried tears within us, we will often channel that energy into our thoughts and our brain will be racing. So it really behooves us as a person to make room for whatever is going on, for reality. This is about getting real. You know, as a therapist, my main task, my main job is to actually make space for you, is to make room. I have, in the past, I've called it like a creative vacuum kind of space making, where I'm just so open to what's going on and for what's real, and I'm at my own depth while I'm with you, that it has sort of a vacuum effect, and it brings it out, pulls it out. People are surprised and what emerges from themselves. And you know, I personally love it when that happens. I like being surprised by my own depths, whatever they are. A lot of times it is irrational stuff because we're logical people. When the reality is we're not logical beings, we're psychological beings. And so our depths are bound to be filled with illogical, irrational things. That's what feelings are. But feelings also carry a lot of beauty. Feelings carry our depths as a human. Where I believe children, babies even, feel deeply. You know, what are babies crying about when they're crying? They're not just crying because they're wet or hungry. They're crying because at some existential level, they want more togetherness. They want more love. They want more contact. You know, this is deep stuff. Little kids, it's the same. And the same is true as adults. I see this emerging all the time in healing circles, in therapy groups, where people are just yearning for connectedness. People are yearning for their own depths of feeling. And so I'll say it one more time, overthinking is very often a symptom of underfeeling. So it is possible to get with the feeling level because that's the level where reality abides. Reality is a connectedness. Reality is a unity. And that we experience that at a feeling level, not just theory. You know, the theory of food never quenches appetite. The theory of water never quenches thirst. It's got to be real. So get real, get well. It's a principle that really, really applies. And so apply it. You know, often I will sit and take time every day to just see what's going on within my own self. It is like engaging a conscious dream state because our inner life really isn't linear it is totally circular and magical okay here's to you here's to your wholeness here's to your getting real here's to my getting real and i can't do it without you and you can't do it without me i mean i mean i don't mean me me i mean we can't do it without each other we need help we tend to put into our own unconscious those things that are a source of pain those are the unfelt feelings that i'm talking about the ones that we gather and collect because we just can't handle them in the moment and just because we don't feel them doesn't make them go away you can leave your feelings but they don't leave you it is important very often that we we go it will feel like we're regressing and going backwards in order to actually progress in our lives. So let's get 
get to it so that we can get through it. Okay, thank you. Love you. I'm here. Call me, 561 471. And let's just see if working together is the right thing. And let's carry on. Okay. Love you. Peace out.